Hello, I'm Dwight Norris of PushNetwork.com and today I'm going to be reviewing one of my new favorite companies I like to fish with. Beforehand it was a frog, but this time it's time for a swim bait. Check it out. <laughs> reviewing this swim bait made by Patrick Seville. It's the Seville Magic Swimmer. Now you see the magic is it's on a pivot. Just like any other swim bait, it has joints. Some have two. The gliders have two. There's other spinner baits that have three or more. They have more action, a little more craziness going on, and Seville has decided to make two joints here. And that's the ones I, I like to use. I've seen things like this used on uh, other channels, like the ND Yak Angler. Shout out to you, that is awesome. Uh, and I wanted to get in the game too. So, the blue back herring have been spotted just south of here uh, in Wareham and some other places. I think about 30 miles. And they're filling up the old uh, fish ladders now. So, I haven't gone to our local dam, but they might be one or two there that I can't see, or maybe they're just starting to be able to be seen. And you know what follows those, bluefish and striper. And the striper, as far as I know, come into the river and chase them to the, pretty much the first fish ladder they can find and they destroy them. Bluefish, as far as I know, don't come and land. But, hey, I loaded up and said I was going big this year. And one of those reasons is to catch big bass. Another reason is to catch other big fish like pike and striped bass in this river. Someone check this out. Things are starting. Yeah, you have to leave. We don't have to leave. Think about moving. So I haven't been over there. I've been guessing that. But it's everywhere in the country. Function has some sort of Now when I'm using it, it looks like I've reeled in like a small perch or something or some kind of very big minnow, like a chub or something or, something or other. And it has this nice erratic movement, like you're, you're hooking a fish in and you see them jumping, swerving, going upside down. It's exactly what it looks like. It looks like a fish that's one, trying to get away, or two, is injured. And if you add a little red on the front or the back, it looks like it got beat up a little bit. They're gonna think that's an easier bait to go after and they're gonna not gonna think twice about it. So there are several ways to really use this. One is a straight retrieve and it has a slight glider wobble. Another version is the jerk, uh, you know, jerk and pause or jerk the whole time. And you'll see it dart this way and dart that way and go crazy loop-de-loops or you jerk it and it paws. It's just like many other things when you're using it on structure, like a square bow crankbait or a spinnerbait, you wanna throw it right into the cover, but not this, it has big treble hooks, but it works the same around those areas. And when it paws, you hit pause, it, they think it's an opportune time to strike. And it also looks more realistic if it doesn't continuously go at full speed, which means it's not injured, it's not gonna slow down, and it's not an easy meal. So. Work in some intermittent changes when you're doing your stuff. But if you find something that's working, a pause, a double pause, a triple pause, a complete, like, shredding it through the water like it's a barracuda after it, stay on it. Learn what your opportunist fish wants and then reutilize. Now you'll see here, I have a steel leader in here because I bought some because I expected to get some big swim baits and use them for Northern Pike in the Concord River. But I figured, hey, striped bass are pretty strong, and this is only 12 pound Berkeley Trilene XT monofilament. So, if something does get on here, it's not gonna be pretty. This isn't the biggest swim bay at all. It's four and a half inches long, and maybe I'll get some stragglers, maybe I'll get a barely legal striped bass, 28 inches. But hey, if you take something home for the wife and kids, that's a win.
honestly the glider looks more like a fish that's like not under any stress is just chilling and you expect something that's to roll up on it invisible like an ambush this actually looks like something's like wrong with it it's not wrong this looks like it's being chased or it's like it doesn't know where the predators are i don't think you need to jerk it that much to get that action Also, if you're wondering, it's lunchtime. I'm doing my lunchtime thing. Go to fishnetwork.com and get your 10 step process of fish at work. PDF for a short period of time. Until then, you'll have to sign up for the email opt in that's below the page for something, which will be later for how to get fishing gear for cheap. I know you're going to like that. And if you ask for it, I'll give it to you for free as well if you need that. Or there's a course. So, I'm gonna go near some structure a little further down the river, not close to the dam. I know they aren't this far, and right now it's it's 35 degrees. It's cold. It was in the 60s for seven days or more. I know the warm the water is warmer than the air. So I'm not gonna worry about that. I'm more worried about my fingers. So let's try another spot. So another spot, and this is at the corner before you reach. Galen Street Bridge. Another missing piece of structure. But I'm not so sure. What I really want is a mystery bass to come and attack us because I know they're out there. They're coming up too. They're going to probably do the same thing as night bass. Three quarters of their size. if you're wondering this is a sinking floor so you can let it drag the bottom and stuff as long as you're sure you're not going to be able to get it out it's not cheap either but if you play your cards right you get a real cheap I actually bought three of these you never know when you need more well, he's three quarter ounce so it's going to go pretty far on this light line here. It is devastatingly cold out here, even in the sun. Everybody's sat down again for winter here. So I like to do stick and move when it's during my lunchtime. I have less time than I do after work when I go fishing with my kids because so daddy closes that laptop it's on so now we're right across from the Newton Yacht Club and Perkins School for the Blind back behind me famous spot for all kinds of fishing because there's a bench right there wide open space harder to get caught in the trees but if you look up it's like a freaking spider web up there so their migration up for a few minutes and I'm wondering if the striper are coming up following them and roaming the sh not the shoreline but just off and I want to coax them 
with something that looks appetizing and easy to eat. And what I've found here is that this blueback herring, I mean, uh, the Seville Magic Swimmer, is exactly like a blueback herring. If you see here, it has that black dot right behind the gill. It has the blue back and the silver bottom. That's exactly what a blue back herring looks like. Now, something else it could be called is maybe a shad, but the shad is more oval shaped, not this long and skinny thing, which is what a herring looks like. Now, I believe Sibyl doesn't call it a herring lure, but they might. I don't remember exactly. But just look for the kind of forage you're utilizing your area. sinking a little bit more because I have a that leader on. It's kind of like having a, a weight forward fly line. I need that straight. dead leaves down here and the back of the dead leaf doesn't really give me the effect.
so I got hung on a log there. I pulled the log in, gave it a few jerks, or mini jerks, and it came off. Thank God, I, I, this was like a six foot drop, and it was a rock down there for me to stand on, but I don't need any more blooper reels of me falling down. Funny thing was, the guy in a SUV stopped as soon as he saw me hook that log and started watching me. And like, people, they can't wait until those stripers come in here. And I know there's a lot of fishermen they aren't being seen much because they aren't fishing during you know the weekdays like me or they just don't have much time and when they can get in then they want to get in they want to be able to catch something and catch something substantial so people are watching so i'm gonna keep getting out here doing my thing trying to get this fish thing on but as far as i can see this bill swim bait the magic swimmer is really good it doesn't swim well this naturally. A glider would have a more natural back and forth action when reeled in. This doesn't really have it, but when it's jerking, when you're jerking it, the action is like second to none. It goes all over the place, it's very frantic, and then it slowly floats down like it's like it's injured. It's exactly what you want. So if you're looking to swim a bait, maybe not. But if you're looking to jerk a bait, this is where it's at. So let's finish this off. Dwight Norris Fishing at Work. You can find me on YouTube at Fishing at Work. And if you need to find a way to go fishing more often, like people around here or people look waiting for the stripers, please go to my website. I have a 10 step process to go fishing at work more often. It doesn't have to be fishing at work, be fishing before, be fishing after, be on the weekends. You have problems, and I want to help you solve those problems. One of those problems is going fishing more often, but I want to solve other problems as well. So that's why you'll be seeing very soon on the website how you can get fishing gear cheap. I know that's one thing you want, and I've been searching for more things that you want. So if you know you want something and I haven't been talking about it, please email me. Hit the contact button right in the web form. Get it done. I will make it happen. Also, I'll be doing some videos about my inflatable boat and getting that souped up, ready to go. The trailer, outboard, and out in the water. So you find a way to get out there and go fishing.